Nicola Sturgeon has admitted that the circumstances which led to the former MP Michelle Thompson quitting the SNP whip has not been easy for the party. Last week, the Crown Office said that Ms Thompson would not face any charges after an investigation into property deals. She's called on the SNP leader to apologise for the way the situation was handled. Here's our political correspondent, Nick Hurtley. A couple of years ago, they were colleagues on the campaign trail. But Michelle Thompson says Nicola Sturgeon didn't listen to her side of the story when a row broke out over property deals. Police had been investigating transactions linked to Ms Thompson's company. Prosecutors said last week there would be no criminal proceedings. And now Ms Thompson wants an apology. I would like her to help me understand some of the stresses and tensions she had at the time when it happened and what was behind her decision making. I don't believe it was done maliciously. I don't believe that for an instant. It could have been that, you know, it, she panicked. Nicola Sturgeon launching a scheme to encourage new female leaders. She'll support young carer Charlotte over the next 12 months. The SNP leader says Ms Thompson's situation was difficult. I regret very much that we were confronted with a situation where one of our newly elected MPs was facing serious allegations. And, you know, I appreciate that what followed on that, the investigation uh, that took place, was not easy for Michelle Thompson. It wouldn't have been easy for anybody in that situation. Uh, but, you know, I think people would also appreciate that it was not a particularly easy situation for the uh, party to be in either. Now there could be talks on Ms Thompson rejoining the SNP. We'll have that discussion, if Michelle wants to have that discussion, uh, with her. This is about looking forward, uh, not looking back. In a statement tonight, Ms Thompson repeated criticism of media coverage of the investigation and said she looked forward to hearing from Nicola Sturgeon soon. McCurdy, reporting Scotland.